Good day gentlemen, Lawrence of Asia coming at you here from the Hangang River here in Seoul, Korea. And it's been tough, it's been mentally and emotionally tough since I've been back here in Asia the last four days. And I just want to remind you all to get out there and move, remember to exercise for your own mental health. Especially when you're flying across the world, might be jet lagged or whatever, if you feel like you're not, you feel, you feel yourself just sitting in a lower state, a lower vibration. Get out and move. Whether it's walking, running, or biking, just get out and move. And uh, you'll get the blood pumping. And you'll feel better little by little. It'll make a huge difference in your overall mental health. You know, they say if they could make exercise into a drug would be the most effective and best-selling drug of all time. So what's up guys? Where you at? What are your travel plans? Where are you looking to go? What do you want to do? You guys want to get out of America? Come over here to Asia? Or come to South Korea? I would not recommend it. Somewhere in Southeast Asia perhaps message me in the comments but yeah just get out there and move you know something that simple just that message to just move right now just get out there and move go into the world step see some faces but yeah keep your body keep your body engaged I've been too lethargic the last couple days since I've been here and uh, Couple other difficulties around a pregnant wife and uh, welcoming all those uh, challenges, not being in my own house, you know, being in the mother in law's house, and wanting to have this food or that food. And maybe it's a lesson, you know, to have my own place. So, you know, maybe I'm trying to spend too much time with the family. I'm. Uh, very empathic kind of person and naturally you know cling to those around me spend ample time with them but you know maybe overall healthier for me not to do that maybe maybe I've got to get out and you know do exactly this spend a good five hours on my own every day you know half the day on my own every day at least when I'm here in Korea so you know, gentlemen, you got to change it up. You know, he who survives is the one who's adaptable. You have to be willing to adapt and not get addicted or stuck in a rut, stuck to a negative, negative emotion. You know, you know stuck to a negative trigger. Don't let that apathy get to you. Don't let it get the best of you. As it was me the last couple of days, especially today find yourself just feeling sorry for yourself. Let the victim mindset creep in. No, 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 no. We are men. We are men. No time to be victims. Life is short. Serve all those around you best you can. Not only are we men, we are winners. We are strivers for greatness. We do great things. Yourself and serve others as well. But just remember, you can't serve others if you're not able to serve yourself and be whole and complete in and of yourself. So be conscious, be aware, stay balanced, and remain adaptable. Greetings from the Han River. I love you, gentlemen, so much. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's get this movement going. You know, guys, let me know if you watch this far. I'm going to share something with you. I met Young Mi Park, the most famous North Korean woman. I met her here in Seoul, Korea just a couple days ago. I also met uh, Alex Jones this last year as well. And uh, I don't know, what do you guys think? Is that a sign? I'm meant to do great things. I've got the same birthday as Alex Jones, not Alex Jones, Joe Rogan. At least that's what my brother tells me. Alright gentlemen, I'll see you in the next one.
last piece. <laughs> <laughs>